What's happening everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top and welcome to another exciting product review. Today's video features a security camera system from the developers of the brand Kitty Hook and this is a wireless solar powered 1440p camera system with a two-way audio, night vision and motion sensor spotlight feature. It also has 10 channels and is compatible with any one of the various camera types in their lineup. It uses both Wi-Fi and Ethernet LAN connectivity. It uses micro SD card and SATA hard drives and SSDs, providing up to 60 days of recordings. So to see all these features, how to set it up with some live demonstrations, stay tuned, that's up next. And welcome back. In the box contains four of these cameras, each with their 360 degrees swivel wall mounts, wall plugs and screws. Four 5 volts 2 amps solar panels with swivel wall mounts, wall plugs and screws. One NVR. A 12 volts 2 amps DC power adapter for the NVR. One HDMI cable. One Ethernet LAN cable. A pair of USB Type A to USB Type C charging cables, one wired optical mouse to navigate to the NVR, a warning sticker, a warranty card, and a quick setup guide. Let's now take a look at the features of the camera. This camera has many features, starting with a 2560 by 1440p capture resolution. It has two-way audio with a built-in speaker both in the camera itself and in the NVR, which by the way stands for Network Video Recorder. It has four infrared sensors for night vision, and within the same sensor it also has four LED spotlights. It has a built-in microphone, a photo sensor to detect low light levels, a motion sensor for event recording, and a status LED indicator. Beneath the camera, there's a grill for the building speaker, a compartment with an on-off switch, a reset switch, and a 5V micro USB power delivery port, and this compartment is protected by a rubber cap that's part of its IP66 waterproof design. It comes with a pair of 2.4GHz Wi-Fi antennas, to its rear has a USB Type-C charging port for the solar panels and it has screw mounts on the top and bottom to suit any configuration. The mounting bracket has a 360 degrees swivel ball bearing design with one screw hand tightening adjustment to secure it in place and for easy adjustment. The solar panel measures 5.6 inches tall by 3 and a quarter inches wide and it delivers 5 volts to amps of power. It uses the same swivel mount as the camera with a 10 feet USB Type-C power delivery cable. This means you don't actually have to place the panel right next to the camera and it allows you to position it where you can get the best sunlight. It also recommends that you face the panel in a 45 degrees angle in a southeastern direction and there is a compass attached to the back of the panel to assist you in doing so. The NVR also has many features. At the front, it has LED indicators for power, hard drive activity, and internet connection. It has one HDMI port, one Ethernet LAN port, one USB 2.0 port, a reset button, a micro SD card slot, and it comes with a 64GB micro SD card inserted. You have its DC power input and a pair of external antennas to its rear. To its right, it has a built-in speaker and microphone and cooling vents. On the opposite side, it has some more cooling vents. And to its base, it has four anti-scale rubber feet and a 2.5 inches SATA HDD or SDD expandable storage compartment. These cameras come with rechargeable batteries and it's recommended that you fully charge them using the micro USB charging port. Once the power LED indicator stops flashing, it's fully charged. Connecting the solar panel to the camera is simple. Just plug in the USB male adapter to the female and hand tighten the waterproof connector. During your installation process, you can do this before or after you secure the camera and the solar panel using the included wall plugs and screws. 
After you have completed your installation, simply press and hold the on off switch for one second to turn on the camera. A successful startup is indicated by a chime. You then replace the cover. I will now install these four cameras and solar panels and move on to its NVR features. So the installation process was quick and easy and I really enjoyed the wireless modern solar panel configuration. Once you have properly installed your cameras and solar panels, don't forget to press the power button to turn them on and replace the protective waterproof cap. Sometimes, if you turn them on too early and take a long time to pair them to the NVR, the NVR may not recognize them right away. It may require you to restart those that are not detected. However, once detected, they will remain paired to the NVR. And moving on to its NVR. So this NVR starts with a wizard where you select your language. Connect to your network via Wi-Fi or Ethernet LAN cable. Then you have to select your date and time zone. Then if you have a hard drive or SSD inserted into the SATA compartment, you'll be presented with the option to format your drive. Once completed, it will begin pairing with your cameras. Please note, depending on how long you started some of your cameras, you may need to restart them for the NVR to detect it. However, once detected, you will not have to do this again. So the NVR can be operated using the included optical mouse via USB or you can get even more features with their Kitty Hawk app. To install the app is simple. During the wizard, you can simply scan the QR code to be taken directly to the Play Store or you can simply type Kitty Hawk in the Play Store and install their app. When you open the app, you'll be given the option to scan the Cloud ID QR code on the screen to automatically configure your mobile phone or tablet to remotely access your cameras. You'll then be given the option to set a username and password to log into the configuration area of the NVR. So once you have connected all your cameras, you need to first understand how the camera system works. Unlike your conventional wired or wireless cameras that provide a continuous stream of surveillance, the system provides two options, a live mode of continuous surveillance and an event recording mode using an intelligent detection system. With these two modes, there are pros and cons when applied. I'll start with the intelligent detection system. Due to its built-in rechargeable battery, it's impossible to sustain a live stream and charge its batteries via solar power at the same time, especially at night when there is no sunlight. So in order to conserve battery, they implemented an event-only recording mode that only records when something occurs within the field of the motion sensor. This allows the camera to monitor your premises all night without depleting its battery life and to fully charge within just 3 hours of continuous sunlight. The disadvantage with the event recording mode is that you cannot monitor a live continuous feed the way you have it with your conventional cameras. And for those of us who frequently browse at our monitors at the sound of strange noises, the standby snapshot screen can be a bit frustrating. The other mode, which is its continuous recording mode, works much like your standard wireless cameras. However, the challenge with this mode is that it depletes the battery much quicker and you run the risk of having no surveillance during the night. So to facilitate a continuous stream, you can either connect a 5V to amps power adapter to its micro USB port or a Type-C power adapter to its rear USB Type-C port for the solar panels. The disadvantage with this mode is that having a continuous supply of DC power will over time compromise the integrity of the internal battery. Also, if continuous charging is applied to the micro USB port, you also run the risk of dust and water damage because the waterproof cap is always open. And if you are using a USB Type-C power adapter, you would have to apply a protective tape or enclosure to protect the connector from the elements. Let's now look at the features we get with this firmware on the NVR. Starting with, each camera has a max resolution of HD 2560x1440p 1440p resolution. You have the ability to rename each camera for easy identification. As already discussed, you have the choice of two modes, an event recording mode 
and you also have the ability to set the length of the recording time under power saving mode and below you have your continuous recording mode. It comes with 180 degrees screen rotation in the event that the camera has to be placed in an upside down position. You have the ability to record audio and you can set a filter to only record humanoid videos as the camera has the ability to detect only humanoid objects. It has intelligent detection settings where you can set a particular area on the display you would like monitored for recording and you can also set the sensitivity. There is also a detection scheduler you can use if you would like to schedule a specific time you would like to start monitoring and recording activity. You can set the cameras to detect and trigger an alarm or detect and trigger an alarm and spotlight and send a text or email to your mobile phone when it detects an event. Under Diagnostic, you can monitor the camera's signal strength and speed, battery status, the model and firmware version for each camera. For each camera, you have a battery life indicator that turns green when the battery is not charging but it's fully charged, and it turns yellow when it's fully charged along with a lightning bolt to indicate that it's receiving power from the solar panel. If it's white with no lightning bolt, it means that the solar panel is not connected properly or there is no sunlight. On the home screen and on the app, you can change the image between full color night vision mode, which is full color with a spotlight when triggered or in continuous recording mode, or you can set it to infrared night vision, where the photo sensor would automatically activate the infrared and record an event or continuous event. When set to this mode, there is no spotlight being triggered. It comes with a 64GB microSD card that only works with event recording and it can take up to 256GB. To enable continuous recording, you need to insert a 2.5 inches SATA hard drive or SSD and it can take up to 6TB. Events on the timeline are indicated by the orange stripes. You can listen live audio from any one of your cameras using the speaker button under each camera. A much appreciated feature is that you have zoom function for each camera using the magnifying glass. On the mobile app, you can control all of the features I just highlighted with some additional unique ones that are only available on this app. First, you get two-way audio by opening a call over the internet and pressing and holding the microphone button. Another feature is that you can manually activate the siren alarm to ward off intruders. You can take a screenshot or record live footage and save it to your phone's gallery. And finally, if you own an Alexa Echo Show, under network settings, you can enable Alexa to monitor your device. The great news with Kitty Hawk is that they have a wide range of wireless models and they can all work with this NVR. You can connect up to 10 wireless cameras and they don't all have to be the same model. In summary, I like its eco-friendly solar powered design, its batteries have not died since and they charge quickly every morning when set to event recording mode. In continuous recording mode, once there is sunlight, the batteries remain at 100%. During the evening into the night when there is no sunlight, you can get 8 to 10 hours. So friends, there you have it. This solar eco-friendly security camera system has the most features and expandable options I've seen thus far and not to mention that it has a resolution of 2K 1440p while others are still stuck at 1080p. So if you would like to get your hands on this model or you would like to purchase an add-on camera, you can get it at a reasonable price with a $30 coupon. See the link in the description below this video. So thanks for watching and as always give this video the thumbs up to support this channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell next to it to be notified each time I release a video or have a giveaway to offer. See you in the next one.